Good morning. This exercise is to let you practice how to create line with text as well as other line types that you may want to use in Revit. So first thing is you create new family and under annotations select metric generic annotation open after it's open you select this default text and you delete it just press delete on your keyboard or press this delete and then you have to go to create label text in this label text you have to edit your line type if you want if you want a bigger text you can adjust the text size or if you want it to be the same just leave it that way and if you want to change color you can come here and change your color to red it's okay and then okay then you click your mouse on the screen and select this add parameter and type in text under type of parameter you select text and place instance press ok then add this text to the label parameters by pressing this arrow and add the value of your text let's say x and press ok so your text will be here you just have to place it in the middle so anytime you want to edit your text you may want to come here and and when you want to change your text like example R just edit from there so anytime you want to edit your text you just come to level and press this one and, and then after that you have to open another new family under metric detail item line base open and so in this uh, generic family there's already a preset length you can edit the length if you want and you can let it stay the same if you want so you go back to the text parameter that you have created for this you need to save it save as family let's put it on my desktop save x1 and save one copy back up save after saving you reload this family into the other family that is line base so you select you place in the text in the middle of these lines here so upon placing this text that you have imported from the other family you need to create a parameter for this one as well in this uh, family so what you do is you click this text uh, no you go to parameter I have family types and then you create another text parameter place instance and place text it's okay and then you can place in the value of your text over here it's okay and so press this uh, parameter and come to this one here on your property browser and on your property browser there's a text there that parameter that you have created just now just highlight that so that one and press ok then your value will change based on the parameter that you have created so you just have to put on the center 
and so anytime you want to change this text you have to go to the uh, family types and then change from here so let's see this one so you can check and you can edit the value of parameters here as well so the next thing would be your spacing so let's uh, create dimension from your text to the reference line click your so your text your distance you can create parameter for your distance so go to your family types and then add new parameter say spacing offset place instance press ok you can place value to offset as uh, like 600 apply ok so press this dimension and go to the label and press the offset parameter so it will automatically move for you so our uh, length is too short to have array so let's change our length to our value 2008 you can change the value here or you can go to your parameter and change the value here so either way it works so here you can change and here you can change also so let's go back to 2008 so after creating your length and defining your offset and creating your text parameter what you do is you array this text select the text first and then go to array command and you array this into another 600 so for this array you have to create another parameter so go back to your family types and create new parameter and say array instance and type of parameter will be integer okay and in your array you have to set your formula length divided by spacing offset press ok so under your so you have set already your family and then you create open a file or create another a new project to test your family it's working so after you open you go back to that family you save this family save as your text line with text line with text and save this as one backup so ok and then you load this family into a project select this project that we just created now it's okay and you can test your you can test your but uh, because we didn't create a line so go back to that family edit family and then you create your line select the medium lines so so big. okay so we have array we have text so save it again and load again into your project we overwrite and so your lines will be here So, 
your text is limiting you to two text only so that means there's uh, something you need to edit with your array so on your array you go press this one and pick that parameter you just create and so we don't want this text to be on the edge of our limit so what we do is go back with the formula and we set our formula to length divided by this offset minus that one text that is uh, in the reference line we don't want it to be there so we just subtract it so click ok and save again and load again your project override so there so you can lengthen your line and so to see this uh, component you go to annotate and it will be here so that's how you create your line with this so anytime you can change the color of the line and of the text just go back to that family you've created so that's all